hello guys how you're doing welcome back to fashion for queens welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing good this is another lovely tutorial this is a tutorial on how to make a palazzo pants with pockets of course i made a video on the normal pencil normal straight trousers you can check it out i'll put a link on my description box i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you think drop your comment below please don't forget to like this video give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and if this is your first time on fashion for queens please don't leave this time without subscribing and so let us get on to the tutorial guys so i'm going to be drawing out my starting point so this is my starting point then i'll be taking the measurements of my crouch my crouch is your hip divided into four then you should take away an inch or an inch and a half but this is a palazzo you don't need it to be too tight so my hip measurement is 40 divided into four is 10 inches so i'm just going to go ahead and take 10 inches measurement you take is your knee length measurement my knee length is 22 inches and then i'll go ahead and take my full length of my trouser sorry so i'll go ahead and take the full length of my trouser the full length is 40 inches and I'll be adding 2 inches folding allowance to this so after I'm taking my measurements I'll go ahead and impute my measurements So the first thing I'll do is to take my crouch, to find my crouch. I'll be measuring three inches from this point, from the hip line, and three inches on the waist, and I'll connect them together. And give it a curve here. So this is where it's going to form my crouch. Then you take your waist measurement you impute your measurement so i'm going to take waist measurement the waist is 36 inches which is nine if you want to add it that you can add your half inches that allowance to this and then at this part we're going to impute our tie measurement the tie for this measurement is 25 inches divided by two we have 12 and a half So this is exactly what we have here. So for the knee measurement, for the knee measurement, since it is going to be a palazzo, we are going to take the same measurement to hook on the tie for the knee. But first off, we go in by we go in by one and a half at the knee length. And at the full length, at the full length, we're going by two inches. So here we went in by one and a half. We then take the tie measure exactly the same measurement we took here, which is twelve and a half. And then. And then for the full length, we go in by two inches, or still go in by one and a half inches. You know it's a palazzo, we want it to come out straight. And this particular palazzo I'm making, I don't want it to be too august. So I'm still going to go with 12 and a half inches. So this is a straight palazzo, it's not a bogus, not a very bogus palazzo. 
So I'm just going to connect this and this. Then I'll connect this to the what we have so I'm gonna cut it out now So after cutting the front, we are going to place it on the fabric to cut the back. So we are going to, be, as usual, leave some, like two inches for the back. So I'm going, we are going to show you another method to get the crotch for the back. This is a different method from what I did in my first trouser video. So I'm measuring the whole of this. This is from here to this point, 15 inches. So this is seven and a half. So from here you mark the hip the tie what you took here we took 12 and a half so this is where 12 and a half falls so this is where your new crouch is going to connect so we are going to be adding an inch and a half allowance to this part inch and a half. so connect this connect this to our and of course we are going to raise the back up like this so this is how the back is going to be so for this part we are going to be adding two inch allowance to the knee length and two inch allowance to the full length so we are going to be connecting this to be more accurate so we simply cut this out so after cutting the back we go straight to the pocket i'm going to show you how to cut the pocket so if you notice this is another piece of fabric i'm cutting another, i cut another piece of trouser for this so are we marking two and a half inches from this point this is the front piece and then i'll be marking seven inches down and then connect it together you can make it straight or you can just give it a very little curve if you want so this is where my pocket is going to be as you can see i'm making mine a little bit curved So I'm going to take a, another piece and fold it in two, still on the pocket. I'm going to fold it in two with the front facing each other. So you're folding it now. The back is what is going to be on top. So the front facing each other inside. So I'm going to be placing each piece on it. So this is the left side of the trouser. So I already cut this out. This is about 11 by eight inches 11 by eight and a half so i just cut a piece of this out and then i'm going to be placing the left piece of my trouser the front on top of it and then i'll trace out the pocket i'll trace out that line that i cut out from the pocket 
on one part you're going to do it on one part to leave the second part so if you want to know you're doing it right by the time you cut this out the other part that's going to be facing you is going to be front the front of the fabric so as you can see now so that's the front of the fabric so you take this to your sewing machine and then you turn this part that is curved that we just cut out now like this so you place it like this and then you sew on it and sew it and turn it so that's pretty much it on the pocket i hope you understood that's pretty much it on the pocket of the trouser it is very easy and then you close up the down parts of it of course so at the end of the day it's going to look like this so i'm just going to give my pocket a curve i'm going to sew up this part that i am opening up of course So this is how my pocket is going to look like by the time I am done. So this is pretty much it on the tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you like it. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if this is your first time. Feel free to ask your questions. I love you all. See you guys on the next one.